Cochran, to Chris Cochran, the editor at Downflunt, Downtown Flint Revival Magazine, which I uh, submitted to her. She was the editor of that piece. Uh, it, it goes, hello again, Chris. While I will try to contact whoever at Buckaroo Communications was familiar with the sponsorship of the Back to the Bricks cruise as well as Doc where Jason Watson at Motor City Screen Makers this week, I fashioned a rough draft of the article. How is it? Now, I'll just read the first paragraph of this piece uh, because it figures in the following reply. Back to the Bricks cruise keeps growing. Despite the bad news Flint has been enduring, there is good news in that one annual event continues to grow. The fifth annual Back to the Bricks cruise arrives in Flint on Tuesday, August 11, 2009. Now, with five days of activities, the events accumulate on Saturday, August 15th, when thousands of classic muscle cars and modified hot rods converge on downtown Flint to be admired by a multitude of visitors who would also be entertained by numerous other attractions. Now, I'll give you Chris's reply. The rough draft is great, except for the first sentence. We don't really mention the problems in Flint. It is kind of understood that we are aware of this. If you could adjust that sentence, the rest is perfect. If you can put together something on the Watsons, even just 400 words, it would be great. I'm not sure about the other one. I will check with Karen and let you know later today. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, I couldn't find much info of use uh, in reply to that email. And now for the full text I submitted with the revised opening paragraph with uh, my introduction preceding it. Hello again, Chris. Thanks for your replying critique. A revised draft with the revisions is below. I tried contacting the Watsons again, but they were unavailable again. So besides my name and number, I hope you don't mind that I left the Motor City Street Maker's office your name and phone number, as well as, as well, due to the deadline being tomorrow, set time this Wednesday afternoon, and your interest in having the Watsons' participation in the events incorporated in the article. Now for the text I submitted. The fastest growing summer event in Flint also salutes its automotive heritage. The fifth annual Back to the Bricks cruise arrives in Flint on Tuesday, August 11th. Now with five days of activities, the events culminate on Saturday, August 15th, when thousands of classic cars and modified hot rods converge at downtown Flint to be admired by a multitude of visitors who would also be entertained by numerous other attractions. Back to the Bricks began in 2005 with more than 600 cars participating. The number grew to more than 1,400 cars in 2006, then more than 9,000 cars in 2007. Last year's cruise attracted more than 20,000 cars and crowds of about 125,000 people. This year's cruise is expected to attract many more cars and visitors. Inspired by and now affiliated with the Woodward Dream Cruise along Woodward Avenue in Oakland County, held at the same time, they are both part of a group of events called Autopalooza August, which will include two NASCAR races at International, Michigan International Speedway near Jackson on August 15th and 16th. One factor in the cruise attracting many drivers and guests is that the activities are free, thanks to the cruise's numerous sponsors whose numbers have grown over the years. This year's cruise has at least 60 sponsors. The cruise kicks off this year in the Flint Cultural Center with a free drive-in movie on Tuesday night, August 11th, between the Whiting and Slow Museum. Events are not confined to the downtown area. Rolling cruisers will take place on Saigon Street from Grand Blanc, passing through Burton before reaching downtown Flint on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Dubbed Rolling Cruise Boulevard, there will be 36 business-to-business -business Rolling Cruise host sites at this riding along the cruise route. Friday's events include a cruiser's kickoff party at the Dort Highway location of Duke's Car Stereo, with free hot dogs, popcorn, and water to cruise participants. There will also be continuous live entertainment, including a free concert on Friday night featuring the Contours and the Flint Symphony Orchestra. Along with the Saturday Car Show, there will be 12 hours of continuous entertainment beginning at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Along with continuous live entertainment, DJ Bob Steele will be spending the oldies downtown. There will also be a safety inspection and fire truck roundup. Around 30 different vehicle clubs will be participating in the event, both local and from outside the area. Organized by the Flint Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, the event attracts cruisers and visitors from both inside and outside the area and gives visitors a look at the other attractions the Flint area offers. Now, if I recall the newscasts I uh, read and heard uh, about the just concluded Back to the Bricks, I think there were over half a million people downtown. Yeah. So, 
the events just keep growing and growing. And I thank you very much.